everyone and welcome back to Silver and Forest and oh, look at that train square just in time that is because today we need to sell some products because we run our space to spawn pallets so we got a full trade load of products also we've got some of these, so these planks we can lift them ourselves so we go and we can just whack them on there like so with no issues and we've got a few pallets of planks and an entire trailer is worth of other material so should be interested to see how this all gets on so we've got four prefab walls got two at least two more prefab cables to respawn and all sorts of other products to spawn as well Oops. don't fall between the train tracks now boy So we'll get you up. So the goal for today's episode is well I finished the yard expansion. I have thought about what we can do with that. Just because with the limited space available without without ruining the land too much, making it look too out of place. And there's a couple of options for us to go down that in particular route for that, but yeah, so not too sure where to go with that. Lovely, it's just wait and see. But yeah, I also had to think about doing the cheeky way of sensor, but I thought at least this time we'll try to do it semi properly. And that is semi properly in the best sense possible. Yeah, I didn't, didn't want to use the. Uh, the. Wheel, not wielder, the take hander because. Yeah, just because with the CSC attacher it is quite massive. Yeah. That's what I don't want to do. No, no, I don't want to do that. Can I just grab some of this please, not all of it? Ah, you know what? It is not look like it's going to let us do it the easy way, so we may do it sort of semi cheat way. Yeah, the only option for us would be to get this off easily and neatly was with the forklift, but yeah, I ain't fancy doing a forklift. Because for some of these pallets, using the forklift will just cause it. Can we be bothered to do that? So, looks like it's the team again, sorry for us. So, we've got 1.8 mil at the moment. Again, that's enough money, should be for all of our equipment. The combine, we want to get pretty top end one, our mitt for the series, but I thought it'd be a big go home, that's going to cost us shy of half a mil plus the rest. So it's just before his bush here. So that is two hundred and fifteen grand. Nice. Now back to you. There we go. Got all oh, those and more pads spawning up. So yeah, then quick get this all loaded up, and then I'll bring folks back in a second here when we're ready to sell this load of stuff.
So, alright, that was a bit of an unexpected time lapse. I thought, do a lot of it off camera, it was going to be too much of a job, then turn up videos, a lot more products we need to do. So, yeah, I thought, eh, it, just do a little quick time lapse, maybe a bit on the longer scale than I'm used to doing. But yeah, so we're just getting the last bits of materials so now. We've got our paper and carton rolls. And these are worth 10,000, just over 10,000 per 1,000 years. So we're going to get about 29 grand each for each roll. But yeah, so as you may have seen in the timeouts where I said about uh, putting stuff on the trailers and unloading those from the big bag handlers and that. It just seems to want to grab the entire trailer so that we had to sort of sell one load of metal and all that stuff. It is what it is. But also things like sort of a few parts of wall now. We've got about 30 grand from there, here and there. So yeah, this is going to be the last bit of materials. I'm hoping this all stays on, but I'm most likely sure they won't all stay on. So, so far we've earned 349 grand from products we've sold. We get a fair bit of here because we got all of that. 20,000 litres of planks, 6,000 litres of prefab walls. 9,000 years of beams, 2,000 years of barrels, 2,000 years of metal, same with tables, yeah. This is going to be a lot of money for us. On top of what we've already earned, so we go and... Has everything sold? Nope. Don't think so. Ah, uh, yeah, 404 grand. So, yeah, it was a fair bit of change for us, but not. Come on. Come on, you sh annoying tractor. Get over. Yeah, this is what I say about doing the CQA because it just for some reason, anyway, it's on there neatly and tidy. It just seems to not want to incorporate. But it is what it is for that, so. But yeah, that is over three quarters of a million we've earned. Just casually, that's just from selling all of our materials, selling all the products we've produced, so. I'm not, not, I'm not too disappointed in that. We can get another fringe grand from the boat, of course, in the next couple of months. That is approaching st stage two. Road coaster has finally started stage two, so it's on step six. You let's get our tractor back over. Come on, there we go. I do love this tractor, but it is very prone to get on inside. Yeah, I may have to reset that. But yeah, also what we've been doing off camera is what I think I may have mentioned earlier about doing work on our new piece of land. 
Okay, so yes, even though I said about possibly making that as a placeable area, I think I it will and it won't be. In terms of productions, I don't think we need any more productions. But with the whole yard extension, maybe it's worth using. For, for driving, but yeah, maybe you use some of like that just for like a little shed or two. But yeah, so we're on stage two, step six, because now we're using the shingles, barrels, and buckets finally. So I'll give it another month or two because it's got all the materials it needs at the moment. Yeah, it's got all prefab walls, yeah. But yeah, as sort of the title was in the last couple of few episodes ago, Siege 2 is ready. It's got all the materials it needs for Siege 2, I'm pretty sure. Uh, for the boatyard, I'm pretty sure that's got all the materials it needs now, because we did give it that third pallet of fabric it needs. Oh no, it needs another pallet because it's like 3,600 litres, so. Yep, I a problem. I think so. Like we'll keep on top off in between episodes now with the roller coaster and that and the boat yards. Oh, yep. Extra money from contract work. We'll do those at some point off camera. So, yeah, in terms of all of our money. My thinking is obviously for all the equipment, the harvesters, and that. Because all we need is a harvester. Oh, well. Actually, a stone picker to buy. But yeah, so I'm looking at including pieces of land about another one and a half million at most. And uh, with the rest of our money, I'm thinking about doing. get some placeables in. Getting some generators, some like wind turbines and solar power. Just so that we can generate our own source of income. Because you know like, you get like the mass turbines for, you know, quite expensive at like, three quarters of a mil. However, we'll earn that money back within 12 months. Sort of drop in, that's what we want. There we go, that's what we want. Oh, yeah, of course, obviously, we'll rate this up, and obviously, I think we'll do whatever with it, but. Obviously, she's got plenty of grass and yeah, more than enough grass. But I may make some hay bales, possibly. Also, I'll, I'll keep it with grass because then we can just have massive poles of grass. And if we ever want to make soilage, we've got plenty of bells on standby to make some. As a bit of a backup source of income. But do we need to do that? No. And with the other fill, we are going to create it as a grass field initially, possibly. Then we'll get our buildings placed there. And then at some point, if we say, oh no, we want it to be an, an arable field, then just in case of cultivate it up and then put whatever crop in we desire. But yeah, again, that is for another day, another... Let's think of so many options we can go with this, on this map. Obviously, animal farming is not really what it's meant to be for, but... So yeah, I want to go a bit different from how I've seen others. I know I've seen people that use this sheet, turn half of the map into a massive field. 
like your like big American maps now, like we got massive fields. I don't think I'll go down that particular route myself, but the idea of having like several medium, like medium small, like this kind of size fields dotted across the map does appeal to me because I do the distance soon to travel in. I don't mind that because this is such a beautiful map to drive around on. Yeah, that's especially so when you get to the north and that where you can see all the views. Especially when it's like sunny or a bit hazy, is absolutely beautiful. But yeah, so what we do is I'll go. I've already shown you of time up to get it's done. So I am going to jump cut a little bit, get this done. And I'll bring back once we are done with debating and get right sorties. Alrighty then, it is 17 minutes past 1 or 18 minutes past. We've been doing the times at times free speed. And since we've seen each other, we've got another full trailer of stuff. A lot of it is what we've got the jingles, and the rest are just bits I've generated or are worth close to generate last time we saw everything earlier on today. But in time we last seen each other, we've ploughed, seeded, well ploughed, fertilised, lined, fertilised, seeded, and if necessary fertilised again, plot 41 of grass. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is get, we'll do tip over, I think this ain't a really good trade for this because it just seems like to tip over every time. That's 119 grand. Plus another 23.7. So that is 143 grand area we've earned. And like today, in this episode, we haven't really been seeking out the money, we've just been sending stuff that we've been generating. And in total, we've earned 854 grand. Minus cost of new equipment, that's 65 grand for the same picker. So yeah, the best part of like, what's that, 925 grand in change. But also, what's we here, yeah, because we bought the stone picker. And uh, what we're going to do now is, since we got the other one more, we don't need this anymore. And we painted it already. And boom! An extra 64 grand in the account. Oh, yeah, really need to tie this up. Go and pick all this up. Yeah, seeds here and there and everywhere. Sorry, kind sir. There you go. But yeah, I think we can get the trader and do that. There's fertilizer there. But I'm pretty sure if we get the trailer that can be done. The roller coaster is really taking shape now, especially where they first start to see it developing. It's pretty much got all the foundation pieces in already for the paths. It's just getting the tracks in and yeah. Stage two already. It ain't gonna take too long to be honest with you for you to get to I know Sage Free and Done, the joint said it's going to be about a three year project, so. We are progressing quite nicely, I would say. Also, the All in One production needs more wool. We can shut that in at any point. But yeah, we've got space ready for a new yard. We're going to do that in the moment. But yeah. Get the seeds up, get it for us, just get and tie things up a bit, get ready for the yard in, and get the equipment. Any. Let's just go and pick this, get seeds first of all, because I'll see if there's anything in the used market, like a decent combine harvester or anything like that. Because yes, the one I want to go for is the modded class of the Nexian 8900 5300. Although it's going to be quite expensive and a bit of an overkill for what we need on this series, but. Go big or go home, as they say. Oh, nope, stay. Hmm. 
we refill the tank, not the tanker, we fill the tractor up. Oh, no, that's fertilizer, can't pick that up. Can we just shove you? Like so, shove you over there. Ah, the way. Boom. But yeah, so we've got a cedar. What we need is a plant planter, I think. Ah, a big bag. That doesn't. We need to lift that up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, for some reason, occasionally it just doesn't let us go in into our vehicle. Not sure if it's something to do with the Logitech Sightech controller panel or what. No idea. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to use that train, but then, yeah, because train... Yeah, okay, for some reason, hopefully don't just update it, because whenever you sell stuff, train always seems to be stuck spawn. Or buy field free, or buy the Elm Creek cell point. I'm not sure why that happens. Oh, look at that! That is a very good combine. Class axle flow with 7150. But yes, yeah, not what we want. What we do want is this one here. Go with the huge boy, core tracks. So we want you. That's good for a thirteen point eight meter header, so Could go something like that, a massive 18 meter header if you want to. Now, so let's stick with this the Airflex 250. What's a cross auger? Ah, uh, yeah, bits on top. You know what? High control, yep. Oh. Space blocks. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, we're, we're overspending. Do we need this big, big amount of equipment in this series? Heck no, we don't. But as I said before, many times, go big or go out. Okay, apparently that's a head of trade for the hat. Not too sure how that works, but... How does that work exactly? Oh boy, this is way too big. Assuming we put this on like so. Hmm. 
my thinking it would be going on across on the back, perhaps. Again, not too short. Oh no, we're stuck. And it's all gone wrong. Yeah, I'm not too sure how that how that's supposed to work exactly. Yeah, sorry if I just the last couple of days. A bit of a cold flu, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we need a tractor, then I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm not too sure how it all quite meshes together, but we'll figure it out somehow. sure how this is supposed to work. Because from looking at that, it's to the header it's supposed to go like that and plonk onto that. Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure. Very odd. Story is going to be interesting. <laughs> Being salt, doing anything. Bear with me a sec, folks, whilst I try to get this to work. And then I'll bring back. Ugh. Yeah, I'll bring back once we get ourselves sorted here. Alrighty then, so. I had to work a few bits out, and. Got, eventually got the honeybee header to work. Yeah, I had to look at Mr. CP's mod review. But yeah, as you see, money's gone out significantly. We have spent 2.25 million on just equipment, land, and other bits in there. But what we're going to do first of all is transport some of this over because we need a little bit more for the boat or for bit the fabric for the boat. It only needs like another 800 or so litres because that boat is on stage 2 so we should have that done ready before the winter. And we did buy some old bits of planks from the South Sword Mill. Except it's a contract, so we'll see or be the best place to sell planks down here. Because we could do just a little bit of extra cash because we need some money for the sheds. So the road coaster if not sell everything market. Also we got a Full container load of 20 logs. Just did a couple of bits off camera. We got the paper mill loaded up with just some bits of timber. We got that timber from the little area by field 2 that goes onto the road, or meets the road, or the main road, shall I say. Rokosos this way. 
And yeah, the reason for that is just... To put a shit there, perhaps? See what the Rokus would take. They will take from that much. But yeah, we bought 25,000 litres for about 50 grand, so... Yeah, obviously we're making a bit of a profit on it. Of course we are. We're still paying for it, so... Sell those last little bits and get a little bit of extra income we need. Well, we'll go ahead and sell these logs. So, yeah, that's about 100 grand we got it from there, along with another 116 grand for a container. But now, let's see what we've been buying. Oh yeah, let's just say it's over first of all. Because yeah, because we bought fields 1 and 2. And we just pretty much demolished all the trees that were here. Because I am thinking about putting a shed along here. As we do obviously own field 2 now. And then obviously over here we'll have a shed or 2 perhaps. Yes, ideal with us to go back into that hillside a bit more, but... So not sure how it's going to work out with the river and that. Because we say, if we get the shed that we want. We want this one. Yeah, it's just not going to fit. Unless we do something like that. Like flatten out the entire area. However, if we say we want it here. They're right by the train tracks. Let's just go do that now. So we've done that. And then we'll just do a little cheeky landscaping. Get some gravel in. There's one stone that we forgot to do. That's fine, we can take care of that now. Perhaps I should have leveled the terrain first of all. And there's a log as well there. Ugh. Just go and do that now. Actually, yeah, I think let's do that first of all, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to lose a bit of money, I know. Yeah, 70 grand, so we'll perhaps do something to get that back off camera, but yeah. I don't think much can be done here, so... So let's try that again. So we go to buildings. Go to sheds. Yeah, I think on the slight angles, perhaps actually better. So yeah, it cuts back over here. That's fine. If it cuts back over here behind here, I'm fine with that. That's kind of very close with the train line. But yes, we have storage area over here. We've got storage area for equipment and all that. So 
Overall, I am happy with that. So that's going to be one storage area. And then... Oh, a little log. over to you. So yeah, a little bit more. So I did think about putting shed at the top of the hill by our hut. We may still do that. That's if we need it. Of which at the moment I don't think we do need it, so but yeah that's so Let's go and tidy this area up here as well. So, we want another shed. Something like that, that would look nice. Do a bit of landscaping. So, go to paint. Give it sand. Just paint this bit over. Get these bits painted. There we go. I am more happy with that. Now, just to make things a bit pretty, yes, we could plant trees, I know. Let's go plant a sort of little look forest area. Lots of these trees we won't touch. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that ping. <laughs> I think I'm going off. But yeah, I think some. No, not all pie. Get some sequoias in here as well. set a little borderline here just to this is the area that we will not chop down Sixty quid. <laughs> oh yeah, now that looks better. 
nice little forestry area. Shouldn't cause too much zag with, within the game. No, I don't think so. I think that's just quite fine, actually. It's actually, nice, proper little dense forest area. So, I am happy with that. And with these trees, we'll let them grow. With the open area, it's got a couple of ideas. Because, yes, we can plant like another. What, like 600 trees or so? 400 trees? Yeah, never good for 500 trees. But all that's going to be sort of towards at sawmill area because we still want to plant a little forest up there, clear the trees off, replant with the yarder. Well, we use the yarder to remove the trees. Uh, whoopsie. Accident gone a little bit over. But yeah, we're down to 60 quid, but don't worry, we will get our money back rather quickly from that. But yeah, it starts to take in good shape our farm. And it's all these little steps that we need to do, so. In the long run, it is going to be beneficial for us. Come on, there we go. Nope. So, reason not let me double pay more. Quite badly, but yeah. But there we go, that is that done. So, what we'll do for now is drop me down and we'll leave you here for the time being since we're not going to put any more buildings in at this present moment. But yeah, let's go and have a look at our choices of equipment. And I'll be the first to admit, we've gone a bit overboard, overspending perhaps, but my choices of expenses I think will cover us for the rest of the series in terms of equipment wise. So to start off with, we've got the TLX Phoenix 525 CVTS with the Cummins engine. This baby has 1500 horsepower. So nice aggro tires, and this is going to be our second lorry, or truck if you're American. Next, over here, we've bought our old Volvo back, our Volvo BM2654, with the bell wrapper. Next, we've got the Lizard Katrina Mulcher, and this can mulch at like 20 odd miles an hour. Next, we've got our honeybee header for our combine and we've got the Klos Cario 2475C I think this is like an 80 meter corn header 
And of course, the choice of combine was the class of the next in 8900s. We've got a third, no, fourth tractor now. This is Defend 939 Vario. For a choice of planters, we've got the Great Plains VP2425A. Most likely, we will sell the cedar that we've got at the moment, but we'll go with that as and when it is needed. And this is going to be a bit of an unusual one. We've got the Class Jaguar 990 Terra Track, and this is our fourth officer. It's got a yeah 200 year sight additive add on, and of course our little El Ho Scorpio 710. Mulcher. So, safe to say, we got a bit of a comprehensive list of equipment. So, along with that, we bought Fields 1 and 2. Field 1's got sunflower, Field 2's got soybeans. Might as well be limed and fertilized. Field 1 does need lime, so we'll go and apply that now. So once they're done, we'll go and replant them with choices of crops we need. Once we get a bit more money, we'll buy the field free and the surrounding plot area. But yeah, at some point, my plan is just to merge these fields together, create like one massive super field. But um, some may they divide crops, let's say, have to divide line here perhaps, but again, the things like that will come across when we get down to there. But this is setting us up for our future. And that's where we need to be. So yep. What I'm going to do now is get everything tidy up. Everything put away. And then I'll bring folks back once we start liming in field 2. Alrighty then. So we are done here. Hopefully this time game doesn't crash again. Because for some reason we're having some crashes. I'm going to be trying to record this last take of it. So touch wood. This doesn't crash again. Obviously, if you're hearing this in the episode, you know that it hasn't crashed again. Yeah, I don't know why it's been crashing like today. I'm well, trying to record this last bit. On, well, now doing this Wednesday night, so for this episode, it should be out Thursday. But yeah, so, in total, this has been like a three million pound, just a, a sheer farm expansion, hey, indeed. Yeah, three million or so. In this episode, about two and a half mil. Obviously, if you include the uh, John Deere, the new bathing setup. Yeah, we're talking about sheer good old three mil. But I'm not really happy of how this has turned out. And again, this is totally overkill what we need. I could have used that three mil and get all the other productions, get more passive income coming in. So I did talk about going a bit green on the farm, and we'll still do that. But yeah, so we got the 70 grand that we lost, well, that messed around the sheds. Well, it's just over 70 grand we got. But yeah, so I'll, you know, I may sort of out, sort of tweak it a bit. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park this here ready for the next episode. Yes, we got our imported forest here. And boy, does this look good. Perhaps I should put actual grass textures down, but... Yes, I know if you look at it, exos, this bit here. Can't really do much about it. At least on console. But yeah, I am absolutely loving this. So if we go into build mode, hopefully. See so yeah, our brand new yards. And if we go all the way over here, we've got our workshop area. So we've got our two trailers in there. We've got our two lorries. And there's the train. That is Technically, that's hitting it, but game says it's fine. So, you know what? I'm going to stick with that. So, yeah, I'll get out of here because we need to repair this thing. 
Ouch, 25 grand repair bill. So currently this is worth 144 grand. And I, again, as part of our expansion, I do want to get a brand new tree harvester. So we have a look here, which one we've got. We've got this one here. So bottom, bottom it says 70, 65 centimeter logs. Well, that's the width for the girth of the trunks we can do. That's 70, all the trees, including the sequoias. 58. The harvester can do 55, but to be honest, I don't really want a Volvo excavator, I don't think. Got the beaver eater. <coughs> but yeah, I'm looking at something like this. 80 centimeters, that's Cobra, is 64, 71. So we're looking at something like, yeah, something like the Rotna H21D, like we did as part of the Rotna pack from FS19, part of base game of FS22. So yeah, that's going to cost us 470 grand. So we're going to need another good 180 grand. So that's going to be about two 12 meter log containers. And there are some trees over here we can still chop down, but I, again, I'll really start limiting myself in terms of just the random trees we cut down. Obviously, we'll get 300 grand within the next couple of months from the boat. Our second yacht is nearly done. Actually, uh, rather than us driving over. Can I say for you to drive to there? Please? What's there? Oh, that's the... Tree there, so we're just gonna pick up all of the wall. Because tomorrow there is gonna be a bit of a income when we start selling more stuff. But yeah, we'll have a look at the boatyard. See, stage two. So if we turn field info on, yeah, it's got all the wood beams it needs, yes. Floor tiles, yes. So tomorrow we'll take some more wood beams down. Fabric it needs another 200 litres, so... But yeah, that is working really well. And turn for the road coaster. It, it should be stage 3 ready. It should have all the materials it needs for stage 3. <coughs> Let's double check. The normal stage 2, we're well in stage 2 now. Because stage 2 is step 6 till. Yeah, step 6 till 11. Actually, let me check the form here a sec. So, PC next to me. Sword on here. Da, da, da. So, yeah. Actually, no, we are on stage 3, sorry. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, it's till 11. Because the difference between set 5, what does it, does it need? Floor tiles, it doesn't need for, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, does it need floor tiles for... Actually, no. Four tiles, 41 years left. Yeah, because looking on the form here, we have for set 6 till 11, needs wood beams, boards, planks, metal, prefab wall, staircase, radius, church table, shingles. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of state <coughs> set 5 in stage 2. And as we go into the night, we should we go into stage 3. So set six. So we're just gonna fast forward time here. 
as all of that trickles down. Come on, keep on going. Actually, we've got enough materials in there, so we ain't gonna have any, or we shouldn't have any rounding issues with materials. And now a lot of this will start going down. That's the floor tiles. There we go, so now more of floor tiles. So no point setting any more floor tiles here. So when we so when we sell floor tiles next, we can also we can still sell it here, and of course Roko should still take it, but just got all the materials in these I'm pretty sure of. And turns with the boatyard. Yeah, that's gonna still be a couple of months left. But is there any fabric? It's got furniture. Yay, we've got fabric. So we'll just quickly take this over. So now that is all the bits the boatyard will need for stay well for this last step. So it'll be a couple of months, so hopefully you come into the fall. And turns with next episode, so yeah, next episode replanting the forest. Also we'll start looking at doing more arable farming once our crops is ready. Obviously, may not be ready for another couple of months. There we go. So that's all it needs. And yeah, that is where we're going to leave it today. So, step three for the boatyards. But it ain't going to be today, I don't think. And in terms of our settlement up here, let's see if it's on nine o'clock. I may look at sort of move to your our living quarters somewhere a bit more remote. Any good things in the shop? Mm, that's nice. <laughs> well, we could have done that in the first few episodes. <laughs> Funny enough, high capacity baiters turned up. But don't don't need that, unfortunately. Oh, so yeah, it won't be today because it was uh, like departing at two p two p.m. <coughs> but definitely tomorrow in October or next month in October, we are going to be sailing. So yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. Not sure you're trying yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, it's be far more extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.